Today we are going to talk about drafting from a plan. If you remember from our writing process video, the first step is to make a plan and the next step is to draft. Also in this video, I am going to be editing my draft and talking about publishing at the end. The first step in the writing process is to plan. Here is a picture of the organizer we used to plan our writing piece. Some plans include organizers like this one that we used. We used it to keep track of information from our story. We tracked the story elements from the story that we listened to called The Milk. Our character, Jane, I have in our character box, she has big dreams and big plans. Our setting happened a long time ago. Our story took place outside, and it was near a farm and on a road. I also have some plot points for our beginning, middle, and end. In the beginning, Jane puts milk in a bucket to sell. In the middle, Jane makes lots of plans to use the cash from selling the milk. But at the end, Jane spills the milk and doesn't get any cash. So our moral of the story is don't spend your money before you get it. I included all of those pieces on my planner. Now we're going to take the information from my planner and turn it into a draft. Here I have my planner and I'm just going to start writing. I read The Milk. So there's the story that I read. I listed the title. The story happened a long time ago. So I took that right from the setting box on my planner. It was outside on a road and by a farm. So that takes care of the other two pieces of the setting, the where it takes place. The character in the story was Jane. There I am pulling from the character box. She has a lot of dreams. I'm giving a little bit of details about Jane as a character. Jane puts milk in a bucket to sell. So again, I took that information right from my organizer. Jane makes a lot of plans to use the milk from selling, to use the money from selling the milk. I took that sentence right from the plot middle. Jane spills the milk. I took that from the end plot box. Don't spend your money before you get it. I included the moral of the story here as well. So there's my draft, all done. The next step that you will be completing tomorrow in your work is to edit your writing. If you remember, editing takes care of correct capitalization, using punctuation at the end of sentences, and correcting our spelling, among a few other things. We have a nice little checklist here to help us with our editing. So we're going to go ahead and edit my draft that I just wrote. Hmm, the first question is, do I have a title? I have it right here, The Milk. Check. The next thing on our checklist, have I described the setting at the start? So that's asking me, did I put it at the beginning of my writing? Happened a long time ago, that was when. It was outside on a road and by a farm, that was where. Check, that is all set. Number three asks us, have I named and described the characters? Jane, she's right there and she has a lot of dreams too. I wrote that, but I forgot to underline it when I was editing. <laughs> Uh, number four asks, do I have a plot with a beginning? There's my beginning. Uh, a middle. There's my middle. And an end. There's my end. So Jane puts milk in a bucket to sell. She makes a lot of plans to use the money from selling the milk. And Jane spills the milk. Check. My plot is there. 
Number five asks, do all of my sentences start with uppercase letters? The capital I, that sentence, there's the end of a sentence, so the next one is a capital. The end of my sentence with a period, so the next letter is a capital. The end with a period, so the next letter is a capital. The character in the story was Jane, period. My next sentence, capital letter. She has a lot of dreams, period. My next sentence, capital letter. My next sentence has a capital. So does my next sentence. And my last sentence has a capital. So check, that one is complete. Number six, do all of my sentences end with a final mark? So this is talking about that punctuation. And in parentheses there, it shows us uh, some examples a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. So we can look, and at my first sentence, I have a period there. My second sentence ends with a period. So does my third one, and my fourth. The next sentence ends with a period. So does the next one. So does the next one. So does the next one, and the last. So I ended all of my sentences with um, a final mark. I used periods for all of them, which is pretty common when you are writing a narrative piece or a retelling. Um, so check, I can check that off. Number seven is, have I spelled all of my words correctly? I do know that I spelled them all correctly, but um, when you are editing yours, you might look back at some words that you thought, hmm, I know that I stretched this out and I want to double check and make sure that that word is spelled right. Some ways that you could do that are by finding uh, that word in some writing of your own. So maybe you can find that word in a book around your house. Um, you might be able to look it up on the computer. Um, or you can ask a friend or a sibling or fa other family member to help you with spelling, but not until you get to the editing phase. When you are writing your draft, you should just be stretching it out all by yourself. Number eight asks, have I added sense words that describe how things look, feel, taste, sound, or smell? Looking back at my writing, I don't think I did a very good job of that. I didn't add a whole lot of details. So, nope, I did not complete that one. This is where some important editing comes into play. I did include all of the other pieces, which was awesome, but now I have to fix this one. So here is that original first draft, and we made all of those edits um, using our editing checklist. And after I make those edits, I need to change some things. I was lucky and had mostly checked marks on my checklist and only one sad face. Um, you might have more on yours and that's okay because the first draft is never going to be perfect. Um, so I need to go ahead and add some descriptive words. You might need to add some other things of yours but that now is the time to do that. So here is the new version that I wrote and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get rid of that sad face because I tried really hard to add some description words. So I read a story called The Milk. Here I added a story called. There was some more detail and information. The story took place a long time ago. It was outside on a road and by a farm. The character in the story was a girl named Jane. Here I added a girl named. It wasn't just Jane, she was a girl. She has a lot of dreams and big plans for her life. I added the second part of that sentence because that's a little more information about our character. Some more details. In the beginning of the story, Jane puts milk in a bucket to sell. After that, Jane makes a lot of plans to use the money from selling milk and other things on her farm. If you remember from the story, she was going to sell the milk to buy other things for her farm first. So then she would sell those and buy other things until the very last thing she wanted to buy was a beautiful dress. 
At the end of the story, Jane spills the milk so she can't sell it for money. So before I had just that Jane spills the milk, so I added so she can't sell it for money because that was what she really wanted to do and that was what ruined her plans. The lesson in the story is don't spend your money before you get it. So here, instead of just writing what the lesson was, I, write, I wrote what I was going to be saying. I wrote what, why I was writing, don't spend your money before you get it. That was what I learned in the story. So now I have completed number eight. I added some descriptions to my writing piece, but that's not all I did. When you are writing a sequential writing piece or things that are in order, it's important to also add transitions. We talked about that when we talked about story elements earlier this week. Transitions are things like before, after, first, next, last, and things like that. So I added transitions, transitional phrases to each of my sentences about the plot. So I had in the beginning of the story, Jane puts milk in a bucket to sell. So I told us, or I told my readers when that happened. The next sentence says, after that, Jane makes a lot of plans to use the money from selling the milk and other things on the farm. So there's another transition. I said, after that. So that happened after Jane put milk in the bucket. I added one more transitional phrase to my story, and that was in the next sentence. At the end of the story, Jane spills the milk so she can't sell it for money. So I'm giving some sequence to my writing piece and telling you what order things happened in, in the story that I read. I added transitions. Check. After, after I am all done editing, it's time to publish. I am going to take that brand new piece that I just wrote. I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to fix all those mistakes and use my very best handwriting when I am publishing. This is my final copy that I am going to share with others to read. Happy writing!